He was a comic yeah. genius. Let me tell you something. There's going to be a whole bunch of things we don't tell Mrs. Clinton. Phil Hartman earned acclaim on SNL and later became a Someone? beloved sitcom star on news radio. You sure, you sure there's nothing the matter? Okay, you got it. <laughs> the laughter came to a tragic end the morning of May 28, 1998, when Hartman was shot dead by his wife, Brynn, who also took her own life. Now, ABC is airing a two-hour special, The Last Days of Phil Hartman, in which Hartman's brother-in-law, Greg Omdahl, breaks his silence. After I heard Bryn had shot Phil, then Bryn had shot herself, I think everyone was in shock in the family. I cannot imagine why she would do that. He also offers insight into the deeply troubled Hartman marriage. She was upset with Phil on one, maybe two occasions where he would be doing The Simpsons or news radio. He had mentioned to Bryn that, you know, maybe I can get you a part. And when he'd come home, she'd say, well, did you talk to him about, you know, getting me a part? And he'd say, oh, I forgot. And she'd be upset about that. In 2002, Inside Edition got an exclusive look inside the Hartman home in Encino, California. So now this is the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. The Hartman's two children were home when their mother opened fire. Sean was nine. Daughter Bergen was just six. The little girl was carried out of the murder scene by police. The children were raised by their aunt. Four years ago, Bergen honored her dad by attending Saturday Night Live's 40th anniversary celebration. She's a beautiful gal and has a handsome husband, and she's living a normal, happy life. Sean's doing well. He got a degree in art, and he's pursuing his dream of being an artist and musician. The new special also features never-before-seen home videos showing Phil Hartman as a doting dad. Bergen! What makes me the happiest? Well, without question, it's being a father.